Hey everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls. Believe it or not, there's a debate on what angle your stake should go in to the ground. Now there are companies out there that do like the big like circus tents and all that. And they use big, huge, one inch thick steel rods that are that long. And they've done a lot of tests where putting it straight down 90 degrees is the way that their tests have shown up. But does that translate to small, lightweight tent stakes? So what I've got set up here in the hammock lab is just a basic mechanical pulleys. So this will be the what I'll be pulling on. 45 degree angle. That's pulley up there, comes down to this pulley, and through this pulley is a piece of uh, zing it type of stuff. Um, they go, it's going to go to both stakes. One stake I'm going to have going in at 90 degrees or vertically, and the other stake is going to be going in at 45 degrees. So as I pull on this, it's basically going to be which stake gives out first, using the same line, using the same pull of force. Now, of course, I can't determine what's in the soil or anything like that, and this isn't a test on whether or not uh, Easton hollow core as opposed to a titanium shepherd hook to a nail or whatever um, makes a difference. This is just basically the pull angle and what angle to put a stake. I am using the, titan the um, titanium nails. I'm going to use the titanium shepherd hook and I'm going to use the Easton hollow core uh, tent peg. I could do more, but I'm really just going just for the basic um, angle. So each stake will be all the way to the ground, then I'll put the force on it, and the winner will be the one that stays in because the other one will come out. And I'll be making sure that all my angles are correct using this uh, speed square from construction. So I'll be able to put it in 90 degrees and put it in 45 degrees. So the first test is going to be these Easton, um, I think there's a six inch stakes. So this one, roughly put in, put the head down all the way to the ground. And this one will be at a 45 degree angle. Good deal. We'll hook them up. I'm going to put the string down below the head. Just like that. Okay. The one furthest away is at 45 degree angles. 45 degree angle. And the one closest is 90 degrees. Oh, we got to put this pulley right. Okay, there's the first one, 90 degrees, came out first, and now the next set will be these titanium nails, and I'll put the string right below the head again. They're all bolt down to the surface there. Okay, so now again, so these are the titanium nails, basically. And now the one closest to the camera is 90 degrees, and the one furthest away is the 45 degree angle. Everything's set. OK. 
Okay, here we go. That was a little closer, but still the 90 degree lost. All right, this this will be the uh, the titanium shepherd hook, and I'll push this all the way down until this is touching the ground. So we're going to try and limit the twist. This one goes in vertical. All the way down. All the way down. Okay, again, the one closest is 90 degrees. The one furthest away is 45. go 90 degrees shot that baby where did it go <laughs> all right well I hope that might settle the big debate that uh, you didn't know what was going on in every case the stake that was put in at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the soil and not 90 degrees perpendicular to the guy line uh, that one came out first every single time Sometimes, it, like with the, the nail, the titanium nail, it, it was a lot closer. But, you know, in general, having this, have, putting in your stake at a 45 degree angle or somewhere thereabout, um, we can get into more things about 30 degrees and all that kind of stuff and fulcrums and all that. But just keeping it as basic as we can keep it, the 90 degree stake is not the way to go. You want to have your stake at a 45 degree angle or somewhere close to it to uh, to the tent or into the ground. And maybe no one really cares about this, but uh, if you know me, I, I've got to know. So, okay, hope that helps everybody out and I'll see you out on the trail. Bye now.